Saint Patrick was born in Boulogne-sur-Mer. Saint Patrick, Saint Patrice, whose real name was Maywin Suckets, was born towards the end of the 4th century, circa the year 386 or 387, close to the military camp of Bonagna in the family house. His father, Calpurnius, was a centurion and firekeeper in charge of guarding the Tower of Caligula. His mother, Concessa, was likely to be a Christian Gallic little niece of Saint Martin of Tours. The Roman military camp was located on the site of the present old town of Boulogne, which was home to the Classis Britannica, the Roman fleet in preparation for the invasion of Britain, now England. Calpurnius was killed by Saxon pirates during an incursion, and his son, the future St. Patrick, was kidnapped at the age of 16, circa the year 402, and sold as a slave in Ireland. The Tower of Odre, the lighthouse built upon Caligula's command, also served as a watchtower surrounded by a fortress, and watchmen continued to maintain the fire. During its six years of captivity, the future St. Patrick learned the language and customs of the land of Ireland, which the Romans called Hibernia. Already being a Christian, his captivity transformed him into a devotee. In the year 408, Mewin Sucket escaped and became a Catholic priest and devoted himself to theology. About 20 years later, circa the year 430, Pope Celestine I, 43rd Pope from 422 to 432, ordered him to return to Ireland to evangelize the country. We notice that many portrayals of St. Patrick depict him by the sea, close to a high tower on top of a cliff. Mewin Suckett then meets several Irish kings, including Angus, and manages to convince them of the concept of the Trinity, God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit, by using a clover, which has three parts but comes as one. This image becomes so compelling that Ireland later decides to use the shamrock as the national symbol. The many portrayals of St. Patrick are surrounded by symbols. The most famous is the clover, but also snakes are featured. Legend is St. Patrick drove all the snakes out of the land. This action symbolizes the conversion of the Irish people to Christianity and the abandonment of pagan rites. The third most represented symbol is the high tower at the edge of a cliff. This tower is a reminiscent of the Tower of Odre, the former Caligula lighthouse, the first one built in France, surrounded by the Roman fortified camp, which is St. Patrick's birthplace. One should notice the aspect of the tower dedicated to St. Patrick in Dublin, built in 1747 and rebuilt around 1810. It bears a particular resemblance to the old tower of Caligula in Boulogne and features on many representations of St. Patrick. The Dublin tower is built from brick and stone, as was the tower of Odre in Boulogne, just as the Dover Lighthouse, a twin building of the Caligula Lighthouse. These constructions were composed with an alternative bricks and stone, just like the Saracen walls. Mistakenly confused with a Dutch smoking mill, St. Patrick's Tower in Dublin pays tribute to Ireland's patron saint, and at the top stands a depiction of St. Patrick. St. Patrick's Rock, located in England, where he possibly embarked for Ireland, is topped by a lighthouse. St. Patrick died on the 17th of March of the year 461, aged 74. 
This is why he is celebrated on every 17th of March. Since he is the patron saint of the Irish people, it has been a tradition since the 20th century to drink some beer, ideally Guinness. There is only one French church dedicated to St. Patrick, and it is located in Boulogne-sur-Mer, Rue du Chemin Vert. It was built in 1961, as Canon Guillaume wished, as he wanted a second church in this district of Boulogne, in addition to the Saint-Pierre church. Rue du Docteur de Gand formerly Rue Saint-Patrick, is located at the top of Rue du Camp de Droite, just a stone throw from the site of the former Tower of Caligula. In the 5th century, after the end of the Roman Empire, the barbarian invasions followed one another. It was then the advent of the Merovingians, followed by the Carolingians, but this is another story. <laughs> 